Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Tech Conversations. I'm your host Guillermo. It is July 6. Hope you're all having a great day today. As you can see, it is a red day for me. Down $190 today or about 0.2% so far. A lot of stocks pulling back today. So we'll see what the rest of the day brings us. Now in today's video, I want to talk about something very important. How we can enter a bullish trade with unlimited upside potential for basically free and so i'm going to show you guys how to set this up but before i get into it all i ask is that you guys hit the like button down below and subscribe guys it really helps out the channel start off with talking about what our goal here with this strategy is so our goal from this strategy will be to benefit from bullish movement in the underlying stock for almost zero cost to us actually it will be zero cost to us and i'll explain that here and of course, all of this with limited risk. So again, I always avoid any strategy that has unlimited risk. And so then the appropriate market forecast for the strategy is, you know, since we will benefit from rising stock price action, we want a rather bullish environment, a rather bullish market. And so then the ideal stocks for this situation will be stocks that you are bullish on, long term especially, and that you actually want to buy, but you want to potentially buy at a cheaper price. And let me talk about what I'm uh, what I mean by that. So let's go for this video. Let's use ticker symbol S N A P Snap. So if I go to Snap, right? What most people do is that they'll just buy shares of Snap right now. And if we take a look at what that looks like, we can go to Build here on Option Strat, and we can go over to Covered Call, and basically we can you know kind of just uh, you know simulate what that would look like so if i go to snap i'm pretending i'm buying 100 shares right now which again is what a lot of people do uh they don't sell calls they just buy the stock and hold uh so that this is what that would look like okay for example if i go to july 16th this is what that would look like right i'm buying 100 shares right now at 68.45 uh and so ultimately what that means is that you know i can lose if this goes all the way down to zero dollars i can lose a lot of money uh, so let me put these back here. So ultimately what I'm doing is I'm canceling these out. So just pretend these aren't even here. I'm just buying 100 shares. So my max loss is $6,845. My max profit is infinite. And so if by July 16th, Snap goes to $75, uh, I would make $655, right? However, if Snap drops to 65 I would be down $345. So again, this is the most common scenario. People just buying 100 shares of the stock. So let's pretend that we want to do something like that, uh, but we want to buy Snap at a cheaper price. What can we do? Well, we know that we can sell puts, okay? And that's not the, that's not the secret here, uh, but we know that we can sell puts to potentially buy the stock at a cheaper price, right? So I can go over to sell, put i can go to let's say july 16th being the expiration date and i can choose what price i'm willing to pay for snap uh, so let's say i'm willing to purchase snap for 67 dollars. that's the most i'm willing to pay for snap i can sell a put then at the 67 dollars strike and sell a put here for selling this put i receive a premium i'm going to receive a dollar and 48 cents per share remember each contract controls 100 shares so I'm going to receive $147 for selling this put, right? And so we take a look at what that would look like. Now we can go to a short put here and we can uh, go to snap here. We chose July 16th. And again, we're selling an out of the money put to potentially get snap for cheaper. So now what happens? So now my max loss is 6,547 right versus over here my max loss was 6845 so by doing this uh my max loss just dropped right and so for example if on the expiration date snap is at 65 well i'd only be down 47 dollars. whereas over here remember if it's at 65 i'd be down 345 dollars. so selling a put makes sense right because you're potentially getting the stock cheaper you're also getting paid 153 dollars However, there's a problem here, right? What's the problem? The problem is our max profit is capped. Our max profit, the most we can make selling this put is $153. Remember over here, the most we could make was 
basically unlimited, right? So again, on this scenario, if Snap goes to 75, right, by expiration, we would be up $655. Over here, if it goes to 75, we're still only making $153. So the problem here is that our max profit is capped, and a lot of the times, it's not a lot. And I'm sure you've all been in a scenario where you solely put on a stock, and then the stock has a 10 to 20% move the next week, and you're just kind of banging yourself on the head, wishing you would have instead just bought the stock rather than selling the put because you would have made so much more. Well, here's where this uh, secret that I'm about to show you guys lies. And it's very simple, uh, but a lot of people just don't realize that it's there. So here's what we can do then. So we can still sell a put, right, to potentially get this stock for cheap, $67, the 67 strike. And we're still going to get a premium. We're still going to get a credit here, $149. So what can we do here? What if we use the credit that we're receiving for selling this put to finance another play? And this other play, what if this other play makes this, uh, makes this trade have upside unlimited potential again? We can actually do that. So what we would do is we're going to go to buy and we're going to switch over to call now. And so what we want to do is we want to basically, we're going to buy an out of the money call here where the amount that we're paying for it is less than the credit we're receiving for selling they put because we still want to get a credit here, but we want to use most of our credit to buy a call here. And we're going to see how this changes the trade. So for example, I can go up here and I see uh, this 70.5 strike call here. Right, same expiration date, by the way, right? This is gonna cost me about $137 to purchase, right? I'm gonna have to pay $137 per share or $137 for the contract. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. What happens? Well, I'm still gonna get a credit. I'm still gonna get $13 or so for doing so. And you can definitely, you know, switch it around. If you wanna even pay a small debit, that's fine. But again, I think uh, the best solution here is to actually still get a credit while buying this call. And what happens now? Look at our max profit. Our max profit now switched again to being unlimited, right? And this is what makes this very powerful now because our max profit is unlimited again. Where right? if the stock makes a 10 to 20% move the next week, we can still capitalize on a lot of those gains rather where you just sell a put on its own and you're just capped at the whatever the credit was that you received. And so our max loss here will be the collateral that we're putting up for selling the put uh, minus the credit that we're receiving here. So again, for selling this put, we do have to put up collateral to potentially buy the 100 shares at the strike 67. So we have to put up $6,700 in collateral, but we're getting a $16 credit. So 6,700 minus 1617 is 6683. Now, the worst case scenario here, this, which is still the same for selling a put, is that you get to buy Snap for cheaper still, right? Because the worst case scenario here is Snap falls under $67 on expiration or by expiration, and you have to buy 100 shares of Snap for $67, which is still better than the first scenario, which is buying 100 shares of Snap right now as it is. And so let's take a look here at what this looks like. So now we can go to a new one here. And again, we can start by the, with the short put here. And so we're on snap. And again, remember we chose the July 16th strike, right? So we're selling a put to potentially get the stock cheaper and we're gonna get paid. We're gonna get a credit of $152. But now again, our, our max profit is capped, right? And if snap goes to 75, for example, on expiration, we're still only making $152. So now what we do is we add a call. We buy a call and we use the credit we're receiving from selling that put to purchase this call option. And so you can kind of slide it here and take a look at where you want this to be. So for example, I could even do the 70 strike call. I'm still getting a credit $2. And now look at my max profit. It's infinite. So now, if Snap goes to $75 on the expiration, guess what? Now I make $502 here versus by just selling a put, I was only making $153, right? So over here, I'm making 
$502. So it's getting a lot closer to just buying the shares when not selling a put, right? $655. Now take a look here, max loss, $6,845. Max loss over here, $6,698. So your max loss is still less than just buying the 100 shares. So again, as you can see, this is still better than just buying 100 shares and not doing anything because you're potentially buying the shares cheaper. That's the worst case scenario. But if, it, if you don't have to buy the shares and it goes up, you basically just entered a trade for free, right? Because you're, you know, you're just getting a $2 credit. That's it. And you're basically in this infinite uh, upside potential trade for free here. So again, this is the this is very powerful here. So selling a put, but instead of just selling a put and having your max profit cap, and then having to watch the stock jump 10, 20% the next week, wishing you would have just bought the stock instead, you can go ahead and sell a put still, but you again, use the premium from selling that put to buy a call, an out of the money call where you still get a credit but now this gives you so much more profit potential if the stock does make that upward move uh, in the next couple of weeks or whenever your contracts expire. So anyway, this is called the long risk reversal option strategy. Very powerful again. Now, a couple of things to note here. Number one, be aware of commission fees uh, because you are opening and closing one more contract, right? This call option that you're buying and potentially selling eventually. The other thing, of course, uh, is risk of early assignment. So you are selling a put. You should understand by now that by selling a put, you're basically agreeing to potentially buy 100 shares of the stock if on uh, by the expiration date the stock is under uh, the strike price that you chose. The, the share price is under the strike price you chose. So, of course, understand that that will happen. Uh, you will be assigned 100 shares if the share price is under the strike price. Uh, at the end of the day on the expiration date, which is July 16th in this scenario. So anyways, again, that's the long risk reversal option strategy. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Check out the Discord link to it in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys next time.